Very good evening, kids. How is everyone? Welcome back again to your An Academy Neat English channel, my dear students. This is your Baba HSP, and today I'm going to tell you about effective atomic number. You know very well that before this lecture, I taught you the coordination chemistry is Werner's coordination theory. That was really fantastic. And after that, I'm here with, yes, the effective atomic number you can see on the screen. But before that, do let me know. My dear friends, is Baba audible as well as visible to all of you? Very, very good evening. Vedha Janani, Solu Kumar, Anush Tiwari, I can see everyone. My dear friends, today, whatever I'm going to tell you in these 40 to 50 minutes, that is really very, very important. It holds a lot of weightage. An effective atomic number, you are always cramming, kids. Today, I will let you know, no need to cram it out. I will give you the sense, the visualization, how to feel effective atomic numbers so that you can do any question that is coming, whether it is tough or easy. You know that reduced syllabus, reduced syllabus means the questions definitely they will be on the tougher side. So, how many of you are ready? I can see Buddha Surya is there, Sulu Kumar is there, Mishra is there, uh, Nagishwar Roy is there, everyone is there. My dear friends, first of all, I want to see some green signal in the chat section and some fire and hit the like buttons, everyone, if you are ready for this session. So, without any delay, I'm going to tell you effective atomic number. First of all, the theory part. And after that, Baba is going to tell you, yes, Baba is going to tell you the numericals means the questions based on this. Why I'm using the word numerical? Because oxidizing agent, reducing agent, and bit, you can say class 6 level maths is there. Effective atomic number means how to add and subtract. Only that much is there. So everyone, hey, my chemistry molecules do let me know. Are you ready? Hey, kids. Everyone, yes, I want to see in the chat section that yes, my all dear students, all my chemistry molecules, they are ready and see this pic I have taken from the NCERT book. Why this pic? It, this pic is holding a lot of weightage and number of things are there in this pic. I can see the fire in the chat section, my dear students. Everyone, let's come to this why they have written nickel co4 why they have written feco5 why five is there and why there is four and why it has undergone dimerization this is also undergone dimerization how many of you want to know the secret behind it and the secret the mystery behind this chemistry how many of you are interested so very good very good now First of all, let me tell you, if you are new to this channel, this is your Baba HSP. I have been teaching for the last 24 years, my dear students. I did my AMTEC 2004, in 2004, yeah. MSC 1999, I'm gold medalist, then GATE and JRF, and then after that, yes, I did my AMTEC after clearing GATE examination. Now, my dear students, in these 24 years, number of ranks, yes, have been produced with the help of parents, students, and this teacher. That's triangle. If you're hardworking, success is waiting for you. Now, see, my dear students. Yes, everyone, if you're new to this channel, subscribe. This is your channel. I hope that everyone is doing great and are having good time. So, everyone, subscribe this channel and smash the like button, kids. Hit the like button. Now, whatever I'm going to teach you. Each and every point is very, very important. So everyone sit with your pen and copy. Are you ready, kids? Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Everyone, everyone, Akanksha is there. Wow, fantastic, my dear friend. Now see, the reason behind it, I'm going to tell you, I will come back to this screen slide once again. But before that, a bit knowledge of this is EAN. What is the full form of EAN, kids? The full form of EAN is effective atomic number. Effective 
effective. Why it is effective? I will let you know. An atomic number you know very well. What is the meaning of atomic number? So first of all, we should know the atomic number. So for this, we should have a bit knowledge of D block. Yes. So I'm going to tell you D block element. Just think about fourth period. Fourth period means three D orbitals are getting filled. Now everyone sing along with me. Science teacher, very crazy man. Scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, magnets. Science teacher, very crazy man. It's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Everyone, you should know these elements in the sequence along with the atomic number. If you are having good command on these elements, my dear student, then only you can do and you can visualize, you can understand, better grasping will be there. Everyone sing this song along with me. Science teacher, very crazy man. Everyone, I want to see this song in the chat section. What I'm saying? A, science teacher, very crazy man. But having fear of, but having fever of cobra in night, even with cousin. Having fever of cobra in night with cousin, copper, zinc, cousin, cousin. What I said, kids, what I said, first of all, let me write down the atomic numbers 27, 28, 29, oh, 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 26, 26, 26. See, hey, Baba, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So, see these elements, everyone. And sing along with me. What song I have told you? Science teacher, very crazy man. I'm writing. Science teacher, very, very, very crazy man. Very crazy man. Fever cobra, fever of cobra in night with cousin or felt cold. Felt cold. In night with cousin, in night with cousin, if you are able to remember these elements, they are going to help you to find out the effective atomic number. Are you ready kids? Science teacher very crazy man. Now after this, after this, we should know how to write down the electronic configuration, right? But right now that is not required, okay? Now kids, let me take few elements, just see. If I take chromium, science teacher, very crazy man, very crazy man, then well, then cold, then a night with cousin, night. Why I'm having different colors? Just see to it. Proper attention. This is 24. This is 25. So let me take another pen. 25, 25. This is 27. And this is being 26 and 28. These three elements are over here. Before focusing on them, before writing the complex and before going in detail about effective atomic number, we should remember. These are the atomic number of these elements. Just see. If I'm going to write CR, CO, an examiner is asking how many X means how many CO. This CO is not cobalt. This is carbon monoxide. And this is known as ligand. One ligand, this ligand can donate one lone pair. Remember that this is monodentate ligand. And it can donate one lone pair, responsible for donating one lone pair. CO is monodentate. Later on, I will tell you what is the meaning of monodentate. Or right now, you can see can donate, can donate one lone pair only. One lone pair means two electrons. So, how many X will be there? Now, just to find it out, let me first of all tell you effective atomic number 
is equal to atomic number of central metal atom minus oxidation number plus twice of coordination number. What is the meaning of this atomic number? You can say Z minus oxidation number plus twice of coordination. My dear students, how many of you most often forget this formula? If you are forgetting this formula, then I have one fundamental thing that will protect you without remembering this formula even you can find out the effective atomic number. I will let you know. I will let you know. But first of all, let me go with this. Okay. See kids, if I write down over here, CR, CO, whole 6. The CO is neutral ligand without charge. CO is neutral ligand. Neutral ligand kids. Without charge, no charge is there. So, no charge is there. It can be written like this also. It can be written like this also. It's your choice. It can be written like this. Now, what is the atomic number of chromium? I want to see in the chat section. Everyone write down what is the atomic number of chromium kits. Write down what is the atomic number of chromium. So, we are going to find out effective atomic number. So, effective atomic number is equal to atomic number of chromium that was 24. Minus oxidation state, no charge, 0, plus 2 times coordination number. This thing is written, is indicating coordination number. So, 2 into 6. So, it will come out 24 plus 12. How much gets? That is coming out 36. Just see to it. Everyone see to it. First of all, do let me know. Everyone, can you see? Everyone, are you able to understand? 36. Vedha Janani. Shake. Everyone. Now see, this compound is stable. Why this compound is stable? First of all, let me tell you. If atomic number, if anyone's atomic number is coming equal to If any compound's atomic number is coming equal to its noble gas configuration, what is this noble gas configuration? Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. Now, kids. If you are not able to remember these atomic numbers, then also I have got one trick. Could I tell you the trick? If you are not able to, these are noble elements, noble gas configuration. If you are not able to remember it, let me tell you the magic number. You can find it out through magic number. Magic number. Magic number is 2, 8, 8, 18, 18. 32. Now kids will say, sir, even I forget these magic numbers. If you are not able to remember these magic numbers also, then I have trick. See, from the atomic structure, you know that in the first period, there is only S. Then second and third, SP, SP. So everyone says, Sunday morning, sip, sip, two times sip. Then S. D, P, safe D, P, safe D, P, and then not safe, this is simple D, P, simple D, P, simple D, P, then safe D, P, and safe D, P. This is the periodic table. Say, everyone say, Sunday morning, sip, sip, two times sip, sip, then two times simple D, P, simple D, P, then safe D, P, safe D, P. Now you know very well that S contains how many electrons? If you see, S can have maximum 2 electrons, 2, P, 6, 2, 6, 2, 10, 6, 2, 10, 6, 2, 14, 10, 6, 2, 14, 10, 6. If you sum, it will, it is 2. If you sum them, it is 2, 6 plus 2, 8, 6 plus 2, 8, 6 plus 2, 8 and 10, 18, 
once again 18 now you see it will come how much 14 plus 2 16 and 16 32 so see kids if any complex is having this configuration means if any complex is getting 36 effective atomic number that compound is stable are you getting my point if any complex compounds effective atomic number is coming out to equivalent to noble gas configuration then that compound is said to be stable now see kids everyone see if i write if i write i have written chromium atomic number 24 so it required CR, it was having 24 of, now, 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 let me tell you, let me tell you, chromium was having 24 of its own, now how many should it need to make 36, so 36 minus 24, how much it will come kids, 12, 12 means 1 CO, 1 CO is having 2 electrons, so how many CO are required to make it 36, means 12 kids how many one co is having 12 electrons so one co is having two electrons so how many co will be having 12 electrons kids how many co will be having uh, 12 electrons tell me in the yes six so cr 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 co so if examiner is asking how many CO we, we should write, how many CO carbonyl we should write, 6. Got it? Everyone got it? Now, if I say I'm having iron, if I'm having iron, see kids, if we are provided with iron and examiner is asking how many carbon monoxide it should have, to make it 36 equivalent to noble gas configuration just to let me know kids it is iron is having its atomic number 26 so 36 minus 26 comes out 10 so half of 10 is 5 so the value of x will be 5 5 so it is having noble gas configuration and it is stable it is stable it is stable now my dear student till now you are able to understand now if examiner is asking nickel we are provided with nickel and co x find out value of x to make it stable now you know you can do it yes yes everyone do let me know what should be the value of vector selva kumari do let me know what should be the value of x now see nickel is 28 nick jones you know nickel is nick jones nick jones 8 nick jones 8 nickel is nick jones so it's nickel is 28 36 minus 28 how much 36 minus 28 8 8 divided by 2 that is coming out 4 that means Nickel CO44 is having noble gas configuration. Its effective atomic number is coming out to be 36. Kids, are you able to understand? This much is clear to all of you. Now see kids. Now see kids. What I have told you in this starting. Just see to it. See to it. Everyone. Nickel is having how many CO? 4. Because its effective atomic number in this sense, its effective atomic number will come out to be how much kids do let me know. Its effective atomic number will come out. Its effective atomic number in this, it will come out to be how much? 36, 36. Now, its effective atomic number is coming out to be 36. Am I right kids? Now, chromium CO6. Its effective atomic number is coming out 36. All three are being stable. Everyone, till now you are, you are able to understand. My dear friends, show me the thumbs up. Why the NCRT has written like this? I want to see in the chat section if you are able to understand. Kids, do let me know. Do let me know that if you are able to understand. Now, why they are dimer? Why they have got dimerized? I will show you. Why they have got dimerized? 
I will let you know, kids. So, NCRT writes in between the lines, today you are able to understand along with Baba HSP, everyone, 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 are you able to understand? Very good. Now see, if I talk about, now see, if I talk about, just see, just see to it, kids. Let me show you. Magic. Let me, it's magic, it's magic. Let me show you the magic. It's magic. See, science teacher, very crazy man. Man, man, man. Man is having atomic number 25. Now, 25, if I subtract 36 minus 25, how much it is coming, kids? It is coming 11. Whatever the number of CO you are going to provide, it will never become stable. My dear students, whatever the CO you are going to provide, suppose if I write, see, if I write MN CO45, how much effective atomic number is coming, kids? Do let me know. What's the effective atomic number is coming of this compound? Do let me know. This is odd. This one is odd. It can never come 36. How much it is coming? Do let me know. How much is the effective atomic number coming, kids? Let's see. Effective atomic number is coming 25 plus 2 into 5. It's coming 35. Is it stable? Is it stable, kids? Do let me know. Is it stable, kids? Hey, everyone, do let me know. Is this compound stable? This compound is unstable. This compound is unstable. It is not equal to 36. Now, kids, if you have not eaten, if you have not done your lunch, what would you like to have? You want to have something to eat or not? This is a hungry man. It is starving. Hey, hungry man. Hey, hungry man. This is hungry man. It is starving. Starving, starving, hungry man. Now, hungry of what? Hungry of, of electron. This is hungry of electron. How many electrons it is in need of? Kids, how many electrons it is in need of? Do let me know in the chat section. Hey everyone, how many electrons it is in need of? One electron, one electron. So, to gain stability, to gain stability, what it will do? Mn, Mn, CO5 will snatch one electron, will snatch one electron and it will convert into Mn. CO45, one negative charge. Now see kids, it got one electron. Now it's effective, you know, it's at effective atomic number with how much? It is having effective atomic number of 35, but that compound after reduction, its effective atomic number is equal to 36. So it is undergoing reduction. This compound is undergoing reduction and the compound which undergoes reduction is oxidizing agent. So, this is oxidizing agent. Am I right? Now, this compound is an oxidizing agent. Are you getting my point or not, kids? Do let me know. This compound is oxidizing agent. Are you getting my point? It is undergoing reduction. So, now see. This is the first approach by which it can stabilize itself. This is the first approach. First approach. Would you like to know the second approach, my dear students? Would you like to know second approach? Everyone, just do let me know. Yes, tell me, tell to your Baba that you want to know the second approach. Just see, I'm going to compare the, for the second approach through the inorganic chemistry. Now see. You let me know, you must have seen BH3. BH3, boron, 
boron's atomic number was how much? 5. In the outermost, how many electrons? 3. So, boron has done the sharing of electrons with hydrogen. Now, hydrogen's duplet got complete, but my dear student, boron is having just only 6 electrons in the valence shell. Am I right? Now, you must have seen in your inorganic chemistry, P block, that it can stabilize itself by two ways. Either it can gain one electron and it when can convert into BH3 negative like one electron who is going to give H negative, so BH4 negative or it can dimerize. It can dimerize to form what? E2H6. In this way, it can stabilize. Now, in the same way, in the same way, kids, your manganese will do this. MnCO5, I have told you, it can either gain one electron and it will convert into MnCO45, one negative charge, effective atomic number 36, or it can dimerize kids. Dimerize. Dimerize means it will become Mn2, Mn2. CO whole 10. Now its effective atomic number will be 36. Now, how many of you want to know? This is effective atomic number 35, just 35. Here, effective atomic number is 36. How to calculate it? It's not cobalt, it is carbon monoxide. Both are capital letter. How many of you want to know how to find out this dimers? effective atomic number. Now, let me show you kids. Let me first of all show you. If you talk about manganese, just see to it. Manganese, see, it is in dimer form. See, it is in dimer form. Can you see kids? This is in dimer form because in dimer form, its effective atomic number is 36. How many of you are interested to calculate? Now, its calculation is having two methods one just formula another one visualization would you like to know the visualization kits how many of you want to know the visualization method its effective atomic number how to find out through visualization everyone do let me know yes how many of you want to know through visualization method now see kits in the dimer form if i tell you in the dimer form, if I am going to tell you kids, just see to it. First of all, everyone do let me know one thing. Everyone do let me know one thing. That, suppose, just tell me any name of actress. Just tell me any name of actress. Let's say, Alia. There is Alia. Hey Alia. This is Alia. Alia is having 1 crore rupees. 1 crore. And this is Ranveer. Ranveer. He is also having 1 crore rupees. When they were individual, they were having 1, 1 crore rupees. Now, once they got married, once they got married, now they are living in one house, Alia and Ranveer. Now, how much rupees they are having? Just to let me know. Everyone do let me know. Individually, when they were present individually, they were having one, one crore rupees, but they got married. Now, they are having how much? Two crore rupees. Everyone say that this couple is having 2 crore rupees and that's why sharing is caring and this is the benefit of sharing that one man is bonding with another man so this 1 crore rupee and this 1 crore rupee of that that becomes 2 crore rupees sharing this is the sharing benefit of sharing everyone are you able to understand now see kids now see if i write like this 
मैग्नीज वन मैग्नीज वन मोर मैग्नीज एंड ऑल मैग्नीज दे आर बॉन्डेड विथ सी ओ फाइव वन सी ओ एंड सी ओ वन मोर सी ओ वन मोर सी ओ वन मोर सी ओ तो राइट नो दिस मैग्नीज is having 25 of its and 10 of this 25 25 plus 10 35 now if this magnes what this magnes tried this magnes was having one electron this magnes was having one electron they shared now kids just try to understand already they were having 35 and they got one extra this electron now how much this magnes is having 36 Thirty-six effective atomic number E A N, and its effective atomic number will also be how much? One, two, three, four, five. How much gets? How much gets? Do let me know. Its effective atomic number is also coming thirty-six. Very simple. Very simple. Are you able to understand? Everyone, do let me know. Is everyone able to understand, my dear kids? Do let me know. this concept is clear to all of you is this concept clear to all of you kids do let me know that this concept is super clear to each and every one okay now say if i say i am having cobalt cobalt co see just try to understand this is metal and that is ligand now How much should I write x value? This is your central metal atom. Just try to understand. This is central metal atom, and that is your ligand. This is your ligand. Do let me know, kids. What should be the value of x? How much value of x should I write? Its atomic number is cobra twenty-seven. Twenty-seven, and this x. How much should I write? Twenty-seven. See. Thirty-six minus twenty-seven. How much it is going to come? Yes, nine. Nine is odd number. So if I say, if I say, if I am writing cobalt CO CO four, then how much effective atomic number should come? Kids, do let me know how much effective atomic number should come. This is cobalt. Once again, I am writing it. This is cobalt. Cobalt is a metal, and this is carbon monoxide ligand. Ligand, ligand, ligand. If I write four, what effective atomic number will come, kids? Everyone, do let me know. Thirty-five. So its effective atomic number is coming thirty-five. So how it will make it to be thirty-six? how it will stabilize itself how it is going to stabilize itself either it can undergo reduction or it can dimerize am i right kids so cr cr co whole four either it can undergo reduction or it can dimerize then its effective atomic number will become yes 36 36 now its dimerization can be in two ways it can be in two ways see kids what are the two ways it can be like this sorry it's not chromium it's cobalt kids it's cobalt it can be in two ways one cobalt another one cobalt and they can share with four co 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 Co, 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 and Co. This is one way. Another way is given in your NCERT. Let me show you, kids. See to it. This is another one way. Co, Co, Cobalt, Cobalt, three carbon monoxide, three carbon monoxide, and one is over here. it can be like this also both of the two structures are exactly correct kids are you able to understand first of all do let me know before moving towards question everyone do let me know that everyone is able to understand 
Now, kids, before moving towards questions, let me tell you something very crazy, very, very important. Then I will come to the questions. See to it, kids. Is it visible to all of you, kids? Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Kids, is it visible to all of you? Now see, let me zoom in this one, this slide. And this is really something very crazy, very, very fantastic thing. Then I am moving towards question. This is, you know, an academy. An Academy's power play quiz. You must have heard this name. Just do let me know. Have you heard this name? An Academy's power play quiz for ITZ as well as NEET UG learners. Take the cricket challenge and win. Unlock. Here you can apply code Baba HSP, not Baba HSP, just HSP 10. Okay, kids, you can apply. HSP 10. Now see. This is your test series for free. You can apply HSP 10 code and you can enroll in this test series kits. It's really very, very important both for IITJ as well as NEET because number of your friends, classmates, relatives, and other students, those who are in need of this, even you are in need of this, you can join this and you can just apply my code, Baba HSP. Which code, kids? You can apply Baba HSP code, you will get rebate in the fees, kids. Okay? So, see, daily life test, previous year, J questions, subject wise coverage, topic wise practice. And you can roll and you can apply HSP 10, you will get huge discount S yes, in the enrollment. Are you getting my point, kids? Now, let's move to the questions. Here is your first question. Just see to it and try to answer it. Yes, kids, I want to see your answer in the chat section. Everyone, fast, quick. Quick kids, quick. Yes, everyone. Some are going for D, some are going for C. Only one answer can be correct, kids. Either C or D. Don't do that. Give me the correct answer, kids. Everyone, I want to see the correct answer. Either C or D. One is going to be the correct answer, kids. Everyone, kids. So, C, most of the students are going for C. This is, oh my God, some misprinting. Can you see misprinting, kids? This is cobalt, this is cobalt, this is not cobalt. So, I think misprinting is there, kids. I think so. Let's see. Yeah, but see, the answer is correct. Why the answer is correct? That I will let you know. But before that, it should be a bit misprinting is there. It should be C O whole twice C O whole eight. Right now I have told you that C O C O four its effective atomic number was coming how much? Thirty five, and that's why it has undergone dimerization so that its effective atomic number should come out thirty six, and this compound is going to get. 
noble gas configuration and it will become 36. Now, another question, kids. According to effective atomic number rule, how many CO groups should be attached to iron? Now, this is really the question which has been asked number of times in the NEET examination. I want to see the answer, kids. This question has been asked number of times, kids. Kids, this time don't mark the wrong answer. I want to see the correct answer, kids. If you want to do anything in your life, you want to get success in your life. So, everyone is writing five. Let me check it out. Hey, hip hip hooray. How many you got the correct answer? If you got correct, show me thumbs up. Otherwise, thumbs down. I want to see. I want to see. Hey, my dear students, Jyoti. Darshan, Mishra, Govind Reddy. Let me check it out how many you got the correct answer and how many you got negative marks over there. I want to see in the chat section. Okay. So here is another question. Chromium, ammonia, whole six. Let me tell you my dear friends. Ammonia, ammonia is a neutral ligand. Ammonia has no charge. Neutral ligand. And ammonia can donate one lone pair, one lone pair. Whereas, yeah, you try it and then I will let you know. First you try it out, then I will let you know, kids, how to do this question. Yeah, definitely Baba HSP will let you know how to do it. So first of all, everyone try it out. Yeah, that's really Jyoti, you are very, very good strength. Fantastic strength. That thumbs down, very good. Darshan is writing 36. 36. Darshan is writing 36. That is A. So uh, 36 is D. Okay. So let me check it out how to do this question. Let's see Baba HSP is able to do this question or not. First of all, we are supposed to find out the oxidation state because chromium, ammonia, and uh, ammonia is whole 6 and outside. That I told you these are counter ions, primary valency Cl3. Cl is having minus one charge. So, first of all, let me find out what is the oxidation state. Let's take it to be X. Is it visible to all of you? X plus 6 into 0 and plus 3 into minus 1. This whole compound is being neutral, it is ha not having any charge. So I will put to there 0. Is it visible to all of you? Is it visible to all of you kids? Now, x minus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to plus 3. So the oxidation state is plus 3. Let's find out effective atomic number EAN. That is atomic number was 24 minus oxidation number 3 plus twice of coordination number 6 into 2. How much it is coming out? 24 minus 3, 21. 21 plus 12. 21 plus 12, how much gets? 21 plus 12, how much it is? 33. 33. Let me check it out. It is 33. Oh, it's 33 gates. This time many of you got failed. Now my dear friends, it's very tough, it's very tough to remember this formula. How many of you want to know that how to solve it without formula? Just do let me know in the chat section how to do such type of questions without any formula. How many of you want kids? Do let me know. Because as the time is passing, at last you won't be able to remember the formula. So at that time, by chance, if you're not able to recognize or recall that formula, how many of you want to know? Okay, let's see. Let me take the same compound. This was the compound chromium, ammonia, whole 6 and Cl3. Chromium, chromium, ammonia, whole 6, Cl3. Now, kids. You know that this is chromium present alone. 
24 atomic number that means it is having how many electrons 24 electrons when it is present individually it is having it must be having like this kids now this chromium was alone solitary not got married this chromium was not having its family now once chromium decided let's make family so central metal atom cma cma this is being central metal atom this decided to form family and during the formation of family it has to spend some money he was having 24 crore rupees and during formation of this family see these family members like this is a man and this this the wife you can say or the whatever the thing you can say family member six they brought money as the dowry they brought money as the dowry that one ammonia is donating how many rupees two crore rupees so six means 12 electrons they are donating to this and this chloride is spending money spending money one chloride is taking one crore rupees so three chlorides will take 3 crore rupees so chromium has donated it has donated 3 crore rupees to this and in turn it has got 12 crore rupees from this 3 it has lost and 12 it has gained chromium has lost 3 chromium was having 24 lost 3 and gained 12 so how much total it is having kits so that will be effective atomic number just see to it the same thing the same thing i have visualized in the different way chromium has lost three and gained 12 everyone is this method a nice method so overall how much electrons chromium is having in this complex that is the effective atomic number got it kids now suppose if i give you another question like k4 fecl6 hexacyanoferrate 3 k4 fecn6 and if anyone is asking what should be the effective atomic number now you can calculate in this way see the uh, oxidation state 4 into 1 plus this x plus 6 into minus 1 cyanide is having minus 1 gets minus 1 right so minus 1 and this compound is being neutral so 0 0 how much it will come out kids 4 minus 6 minus 2 x minus 2 is equal to 0 so x is equal to plus 2 so effective atomic number will be kids atomic number of iron is 26 minus 2 plus twice of coordination number 2 into 6 how much it is coming 26 minus 2 24 plus 12 that will come out to be 36 it is equal to equal to noble gas configuration that's really fantastic now see kids another question this i have told you now see kids this is going to be the second last question see to it everyone this is going to be the second last question everyone do let me know what should be the answer of this question yes kids I want to see answer. Do let me know. Yes, kids. Yes, kids. Yes, thirty six. Let's check it out. Oh, see now how to do it. See, effective atomic number of metal in the following complex is found to be equal to atomic number of the krypton. Now, En, what is En, kids? En, I will tell you, En is ethylene diamine like NH2. This I will teach you in the coming lectures. NH2. Now, this is one donor atom and this is one donor atom, ethylene diamine. So, one EN can donate two lone pairs. Two lone pairs, you can say, or you can say four electrons it can donate. Kids, are you getting my point? 
it can donate four electrons so fantastic your answer is absolutely correct kids absolutely correct now oh this is for you now it's over and out i've told you kids each and everything i hope i hope that effective atomic number concept is super clear to all of you kids you see in the ncrt now you can get it that why these two are given as dimer and these are given as in the form of monomeric form this is all according to stability we eat food we want the best rank in the examination why we want to get stability if we are doing mbbs we will get better job better name in this society and then we will get stability when we are hungry we are going to eat just to get a stability so these complex compounds and central metal atoms they are also doing the same they all are doing they are taking electron they are donating electron just to have stability now my dear students how much you liked it do let me know once this session is over because your comments will only let me know that how much you are eager for further lectures after this i will come with iupsc nomenclature but only yeah i will take daily classes but you have to write down in the comment section i will take the screenshot of those comments and then i will send to my team to please keep the classes daily because the schedule is very very busy kids we are not having data we are not able to find out that how much you are interested kids if you are not interested then what's a need of teaching so we want to see your hungerness how much hungry you are for the studies how much hungry you are for the rank then baba is going to take classes every day but you have to write down this thing in the chat section right not right now in the comment section once the video is over okay so all the best kids god bless you love you kids next lecture will be on iupsc nomenclature of coordination chemistry but before going before leaving i want to know one thing that you are able to understand each and every point baba made each and everything clear regarding effective atomic number any doubt or no doubt just do let me know then i will leave okay god bless you love you kids bye to all of you